Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the majlises of Ad Dosri, Al Hama, Al Mdefa, Al Jishi, and Khza'i families. His Royal Highness highlighted that the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa continues to guide the development programs and initiatives in the kingdom that are beneficial to Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the kingdom's commitment to delivering quality government programs and initiatives that meet the kingdom's ambitious development goals. He also highlighted Team Bahrain's collaborative efforts in supporting both the government and the kingdom's overall development. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister emphasized the important role of the Holy Month of Ramadan, which it plays in strengthening cultural bonds, enhancing patriotism, and unifying the wider community. His Royal Highness Prince Salman noted the Kingdom's commitment to furthering competitiveness across government work and improving the quality, efficiency, and sustainability of services provided to the Bahraini citizens. For their part, the Majlis's hosts and guests expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his visit and thanked His Royal Highness for his commitment to championing development that benefits Bahraini citizens. During the visits, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the honorary president of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, for his care for orphans in the Kingdom of Bahrain and his keenness of providing decent standards of living for all through the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, which is supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. On the occasion of the Arab Orphan Day, which falls on the first Friday of April, His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the role of orphans in the development of societies and the role of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation in providing the best services and strategic projects that secure a prosperous future. For his part, the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, extended on behalf of all of the Foundation's employees, including orphans, widows, members of the Board of Trustees and employees, the sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the great attention and care provided to orphans by His Majesty, as well as Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to provide the best care for the orphans of Bahrain and provide a suitable environment along with a dignified, safe and stable life. A Sayyid also praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his humanitarian work to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. The President of the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a decision to reorganize the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and to appoint a Chief Executive Officer. According to the first decision, the club is reorganized to raise the efficiency as well as to develop the horse racing sector and to bolster the Kingdom of Bahrain's international status. His Highness also issued a decision to appoint Yusuf Osama Ibrahim Buhiji as CEO of the Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. The launch of the second phase of alternative penalties through open prisons affirms the progress in providing programs targeting the beneficiaries of the alternative sentencing law. The alternative penalties project continues to progress towards promoting human rights in Bahrain and developing the criminal justice system as it falls within the framework of the reform project of His Majesty the King. The second phase of the alternative sentencing project commencement is based on the directives of the Minister of Interior and is considered a major leap in the project. The second phase allows beneficiaries to benefit from open prison buildings that are equipped to the highest correctional and rehabilitative standards focusing on developing the professional side of the beneficiaries through integrating them into the labor market which is done in cooperation with Injaz Bahrain, the Nasser Vocational Training Center and a number of relevant departments in the Ministry of the Interior. So this is Open Jail program. I was selected because of my good conduct and here in the first level they teach us about how to integrate with people. They gave us training to give presentations which I couldn't. I earned self-confidence which helped me give lectures for the first time. I couldn't stand out in the crowd before. But thanks to this program, I've learned a lot of new things, learned new experiences, learned how to make to for opportunities, job opportunities, businesses, everything was told by the guys here. And even the trainers, they gave us new ideas on how to shape our lives and build our lives and stay away from crime. First of all, I would like to thank the Department of Alternative Sanctions to give us the opportunity to be one of the members on uh, the program of the Open Jail. Uh, now, uh, thankfully, we, we passed the first level of the, of the Open Jail uh, program and we are now moving to the next level uh, of the program. We get a lot of benefits on the first level, uh, like we get some extra normal calls and we get some uh, uh, private visits with family. Today we are starting the second, uh, uh, second step for the open jails program and we are facing now very nice villas villas almost there and we have a healthy club gym and also we have entertainment club and also there is a swimming pool in every villa and the villa is designed in very uh, classic and nice and com uh, gathering all the uh, customers inside so we are so happy 
and we are appreciate all the alternative punishment department. The Kingdom has joined the international community in marking the World Health Day, which is observed worldwide on the 7th of April every year. Coinciding with the 75th anniversary of the World Health Organization, this year's World Health Day will provide an opportunity to highlight the public health successes that have contributed to improving the quality of life over the last seven decades. In this regard, WHO said that the event is an opportunity to motivate collective action to tackle health challenges and achieve health for all. The WHO asserted that the right to health is among basic human rights and must be ensured to all, stressing the need for investment in comprehensive health coverage by providing high-quality health services to individuals and communities so that they can take care of their health and the health of their families, in addition to the provision of skilled health workers who provide integrated health care. In this context, Bahrain's Ministry of Health affirmed that its plans to achieve health for all would continue, adding that it will carry on launching initiatives aimed at backing the world efforts to improve public health within the framework of the efforts aimed at achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. The chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, praised the cabinet's approval to launch the Golden License for Strategic Projects, which aims to provide benefits and facilities for investment and strategic projects. Mr. Nas affirmed that the decision is in line with the Kingdom's efforts to provide incentives for companies and investors with the aim of creating quality opportunities for citizens and promoting economic growth. He also indicated that it will mainly help in providing an open economic and investment environment in a manner that meets comprehensive economic development plans. He also indicated that the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry continues to support various initiatives and all commercial investment and industrial sectors that would support the national economy. Aluminium Bahrain Alba achieved another milestone in its journey of transitioning to the solutions and technologies of the fourth, fourth industrial revolution following the launch of the online performance monitoring system in the company's power stations. On this occasion, Alba held a ceremony for this new system as Alba's CEO, Ali Al Baqali, said that this achievement is the first step towards digital transformation by integrating artificial intelligence and machine learning into energy assets. The online performance monitoring system for Alba's power stations will provide a digital interface for their performance indicators and will measure the rate of decline in performance using techniques that enhance the reliability of the company's assets. Productive families participate in the Bahraini farmers market during the holy month of Ramadan, displaying distinguished Bahraini produce. The farmers market is an important platform for promoting Bahraini products as the participation of productive families alongside Bahraini farmers has become a distinguished and remarkable event and has witnessed great turnout from the public. Amongst the products on display are locally harvested vegetables. These have been grown to the highest quality standards in local household gardens and farmland. These fresh vegetables are the first choice for most citizens and residents also participating at the market are marine farmers and locally family producers whose presence has become unmistakable at the market. Alongside vegetables on display are the many fragrant spices and herbs which were masterfully made by highly skilled Bahraini productive families. The Bahraini farmers market has succeeded in being a destination for many families and an important venue for the display of productive families produce. The Bahrain Annual Heritage Festival in its 29th edition continues to present activities in Al Baraha Market in Diyar Al Muharraq. The festival has attracted a large number of local visitors and tourists this year as it sheds light on Ramadan traditions in the Kingdom of Bahrain, such as family gatherings, Al Msahar, folk games, iftar cannons. The festival provides an opportunity to introduce people to the heritage, craft, and arts of Bahrain with the participation of a large number of craftsmen folk sellers and artistic groups.